Hello and welcome back for another Elder Scrolls cooking video. Today I'm going to be making the Argonian Swamp Shrimp Boil Appetizer Recipe from the Elder Scrolls cookbook. The first ingredients we're going to need is shrimp. I've got about a pound of shrimp that I've already cleaned, deveined, and removed all the shells from. You can either leave the towel section on or remove it. I chose to go ahead and remove it. You'll also need one tablespoon of light brown sugar, a half of a teaspoon of chili powder, and a half of a teaspoon of dried thyme, one tablespoon of cornstarch, two tablespoons of molasses, two tablespoons of heavy cream, one tablespoon of unsalted butter, and a half of a cup of soy sauce. And the first thing we need to do is move over to the stove where I have two cups of water already boiling. So I will meet you guys there. Now that I've got you over at my stove, I'm going to go ahead and drop the shrimp into the hot water. And we're just going to cook this for a few minutes, just until the shrimp start to turn pink. It does not take very long for shrimp to cook. So let me get all of these in there. And you want to do this gently. You don't want the hot water splashing up on you. And there's the last of our shrimp in. And I'm just going to stir these around so that they're all down into the water. And they can all cook evenly. As you can see, they're already starting to turn pink. And while these continue to cook, I'm going to go and get the bowl washed up that I had them in because I don't want to put my cooked shrimp back into the bowl that I had raw shrimp in. I don't want to contaminate my dish. All right, it's been about two minutes and our shrimp are ready. You can tell they're done because they're pink all the way through and no longer opaque. And I want to go ahead and remove them to my clean bowl and we'll set these to the side while we make the sauce recipe so in the same bowl that we cooked the shrimp in i'm going to be adding the soy sauce but first i want to add my uh, cornstarch into the soy sauce. This is going to be our thickener for the sauce. You just want to make sure you stir that in really well. Make sure you scrape on the bottom because cornstarch has a tendency to sink to the bottom of your bowl and stick. So you want to make sure you've beaten all the lumps out. You want to add your cornstarch into a cold liquid first before adding it into your hot liquid. That way it will not cause any lumps in your sauce. So this is going to go straight in. And this is the same water that we cooked the shrimp in. It's got the flavor from the cooked shrimp, which is just going to add more flavor into our final sauce. I'm also going to add in the brown sugar, the chili powder, and the dried thyme. As well as the two tablespoons of molasses. We're going to go ahead and just whisk this all together and cook it until the sauce has reduced until about half and thickened up so that it will easily coat our shrimp. 
While I'm doing this, I'd like to remind you of the Gamers and Geeks playlist that JP Death and I have going on on our channels. It is a community-driven playlist made up by you, our friends and YouTube family. If you would like to be a part of it and have one of your cooking videos on the playlist, let JPEG and I know down either in the comment section of our latest cooking videos or if you're a part of our Discord servers, you can let us know over there once you've made your video and got it posted to your channel. We will definitely go over, check them out, and get them added to the playlist. I'm going to continue to whisk this until the sauce has reduced by about half and thickened up and I'll bring you guys back when that happens. So our sauce has reduced by almost half, not quite, but it's thickened up nicely. It's still pourable, which is what we want. So at this point, what I'm going to do is turn the heat off and I'm going to add our butter in and let it melt. And now that our butter's melted in, I'm going to go ahead and add in the two tablespoons of heavy cream. And I'm going to stir that in as well. And this is done and ready to be plated up. So I'm going to move you back over to my counter. We'll get this plated up, give it a taste, and see what we think about it. Alright guys, I've got the Argonian Swamp Shrimp Boil all plated up. And you can choose to do it one of two ways. You can do it the way I did it by just coating all the shrimp right into the sauce and serving it in a large bowl since i'm serving this just for my family that's the way i've chosen to go or you could line them up around a big bowl or glasses like you would a regular shrimp cocktail and let your guests dip the um, shrimp right into the sauce either way it's going to be equally delicious let's get in here and give it a taste and see what we think about it I really enjoy this dish. This is like the second or third time that I've made it. I like the molasses in it. It really gives it a unique flavor. This one I would definitely recommend making and I will probably be using this recipe for quite a while. So remember to check out the Gamers and Geeks playlist as well as my Elder Scrolls cookbook playlist. I will leave links down in the description to both of those. If you guys like this video, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this recipe. If you guys tried this recipe out, let me know how it turns out for you. So thank you so very much for joining me today. I've been Vault Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I see you in the next one.